So, have this guy went all out on, it looks like Top Car. I feel like the body kit looks familiar from Top Car. But it is true nice carbon fiber and small goldish golden uh, details and even the calipers are gold and it really looks like the rear kit is some kind of top car option even the logos is in gold. I haven't seen that since 1985, if I should be a little bit mean. What I really like is that the wheels look really light. The rims look really white, light, the aftermarket. Um, but he also has a Porsche logo on the rims, which looks great. So I think this is like total top car, even see this all these things in carbon even these small details here and uh, this is very nice GT3 RS outlets air outlets oh yes yeah, so here we see the top car it, it was now I noticed wow brave guy having this complete kit on a 991 Turbo S facelift it looks like. Just see how gorgeous this carbon look in the sun. Wow. And it's a carbon steering wheel. Only thing I don't like with carbon steering wheel is that they Oh, it's gold parts. It's a kind of hard and rough when you hold them. It's not like grippable, like leather. But see here, this must be painted, all these details. And you can see this in 8K on YouTube and Full HD on Facebook. So, wow, look at these details. It's kind of Reminds me a little bit about the 911 Turbo S exclusive series with the golden parts. But I guess for half of the price. Nice thing about carbon is that you can never stop looking at the carbon details when the sun shines. It's like I could look forever on a Gera R. Oh no, he scratched the rim there. It's very easy to do. Certainly on the black, black rims. A little bit dusty, but we can take that. And you can see how the massive this body kit is, the front fender, how GT3 RS style outlet. But here it's like a huge gap. Or like and it's carbon detail, all this lower side skirt. Well, my decision would be a, a stock Turbo S, but for some reason I respect this guy to just fork out the cash and drive like a dark blue with gold accent top car 911 Turbo S. So see here oh, this is carbon. This is carbon. It's also a very completely different design. It's larger than stock. I can say it's much larger than stock. Wow now you see it. The whole rear panel is changed see how distinctive that is 
That's incredible. So, five minutes now, maybe it will shut off because of the temperature recording. But now I see it, I mean, how complete different the side is of the car. It looks like more like a, I mean, not Gimbala Avalons, but um, like, you say, like. Körnig competition för att testa rossa is. This top car was insane. And the more you look at it, the more details you find. So I mean, is even the door different? Yes, it is. It's, it has this line here, as you can see. You see. So the whole, it's not only the side of the car, it's uh, its not only the front and rear part, it's, it's the side, um, side doors are changed as well, so I guess it's carbon, wow, respect, it must be so light this car. Maybe a little bit overkill to have Porsche and 911 Turbo S. Usually see either Porsche logo or 911 Turbo S. But uh, anyway, see how massive the intake is here, like the carbon. And the carbon here. So I guess that's minutes. Maybe I'll just film for ten minutes just for the sake of it. See how long I can film. But anyway, um, let's see how it looks from a distance. I mean, I didn't notice it at first because there is always a stock 911 Turbo S here facelift. But I was like, oh, you have changed rims. And I was like, oh, wait, what's this rear diffuser? And then I see the more I look at it, I see everything has changed. Yep, rear spoiler is carbon as well. So it's funny, let's see how it looks from a distance. And I mean, Compare this to stock 911 Turbo S, you have like carbon parts everywhere. Maybe it's like 100 kilos lighter or so, or 50 to 75 kilos lighter. I mean, that's, that's a noticeable difference. So, that was a funny look. Oh, 992. Nice. Young guy. Guess I'm jealous. My vehicle for today are these. Anyway, um, see how nice uh, it looks from a distance. It's like you kind of hinge that it's. Uh, See that it's different from um, from a distance. It's certainly the front spoiler and the wheels, but then you closer you go to it, then you see the air intake is huge. And look how huge it is compared to stock. It's like a decimeter larger than stock and it's all carbon here wow I mean the more you look at it the more you like it it's discreet
but on the same time not discreet with some gold accents and uh, yeah logos everywhere but yeah okay it will it will be uh, what to say I'm sorry to see it go from here it looks kind of funny I don't know if it's the light, but overall really cool car. I mean, you're respect to buying that um, because you don't know about all those parts. And it's a Russian company and all, but uh, I mean. Why not? Way cooler than a stock 9 Turbo S. Which is kind of like a Volkswagen Beetle in around here sometimes. So, that's all. Get the 8K TV and watch it in 8K.